Hey guys, uh, today we're going to do a quick field test. Uh, I'm doing some work around the house and taking a break, so I figured I'd uh, mess around a little bit. And what we got here is our Altoids tins. We have the original and this uh, new one that I found. And one of my subs had mentioned, you know, can this be made waterproof with a simple Ranger band? So we're going to test that out. So I have an original, and I just kind of threw some Ranger bands over the hinges because that seems to be the main place where it leaks. And uh, plus, putting this whole thing in a Ranger band, it's kind of tough. It actually takes a couple minutes to do, so I was looking for something field expedient that you could do really quick, so I didn't want to cover it. So I just covered the hinges on this one. And this one here, I just took a larger piece and covered the end because the hinge on this is on the side. So we're going to see if this works. You know, it's quick, it's simple. You can throw these Ranger bands on in like two seconds. Now, my media to test is just some simple toilet paper. We all know toilet paper, even a drop of water hits it, you're going to know. So we're going to test as if this were in your backpack and you're walking along and you've got some uh, water sensitive gear in here and we're going to imagine that you take a fall on the drink and see what uh, happens. So good sign so far, no bubbles. We're going to leave this in for, I don't know, okay you fell in the water, oh my god how did that happen? Saw a few bubbles, might be leaking. Um, yeah, I bet your water's getting in. Um, so you gotta figure in the water, okay, you're getting out, you're climbing out, la da 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 da, you're heading to the shore, oh my god, I can't believe I fell in the river, oh, what always happens, every time you get to the shore, oh, I fell back in. So we're gonna give this a little shake around, just to be fair, a few little smacks just to see, because obviously you're gonna be walking along, and we're going to set that here on the table to drip dry a little bit, we're gonna try the same with this bigger one, which I anticipate this one leaking. I don't think this is going to stay waterproof, but I want to see how waterproof it can be. You know, the toilet paper will give us a good idea as to how much water actually is leaking in. So we're going to flip this one around, tip it on its edges a little, you're splashing around the water, oh my god, can't believe I did this. It's wet, it's cold, it's miserable. Now we're going to open these babies up very carefully, trying not to uh, kind of contaminate. Let's see if I got a towel handy I can dry these off with, and I don't, of course. But I'm going to try and get some of the water off so we don't leak it in as we take it out. You know, consider this had some life saving match in it, so we're going to want to take all the precautions we would in the woods. Not to destroy that match, so that seems pretty dried off. So we'll start with the big one first, the one I anticipate will at least leak a little. Well, if you look inside, the powder from the tube is actually not really wet. So actually, I got a little, uh, let's see, I'm going to wipe that off again. There was definitely moisture under the Ranger band, so. And our toilet paper is pretty much soaked. Yep, we're dripping water. So absolutely will not waterproof it like that. You would probably have to encase it like this one here in order to get that to waterproof. So that's a fail. All right. A little more faith in this guy because of the construction. I'm gonna peel this out. Do it upside down. That way no water... Leaks into the top. Okay. The metal feels dry here. So, let's see. And this toilet paper is damp on one side. So we did get a little leakage. So not overall too bad. It's not waterproof, but definitely water resistant. So we'll leave the test at that, that uh, Ranger Bands do not completely waterproof an Altoid. It will, you know, it helps, definitely helps, but will not 100% uh, do the job.